guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to be talking about opossums. Now opossums are not very common pets and therefore there's a lot of misinformation on the internet about them. I would say there's more incorrect information out there than actually correct information. So today we're going to go over 10 myths about opossums. Now since this is a nocturnal animal, I'm going to let him go to sleep for this video. Myth number one, opossums are rodents. This is completely untrue. Uh, opossums are not rodents, they eat rodents, <laughs> um, but they're not rodents. And a lot of times people think that they are because they're you know, a small animal that I guess they think kind of looks like a rat or a hamster, <laughs> but um, they're not rodents, so they don't have any of the same care requirements that a rodent would. Uh, they don't have teeth that continuously grow. They have teeth that are closer to your dog or your cat than a rodent um, because they are an animal that eats meat. So then again, therefore, they're not going to live off of seeds and um, pellets and things like that. Their diet is much different, so not rodents. Number two, opossums can eat kibble. This is completely untrue. In fact, you get a lot of health issues with opossums eating kibble, and it's really, really common for people to recommend feeding them cat food or dog food. And that's not a good diet for an opossum. It can just lead to health issues, like I said. Um, usually the first thing you start noticing is that their back will start having um, hair that thins out and it just falls off. And so you get bald patches on their back and you know around their butt and that's a sign that you know they're malnourished, um, they're missing things in their diet and it's usually caused by kibble. Myth number three, opossums can eat seeds. This one is completely crazy. In fact, I wouldn't even think of actually um, listing this except for the fact that I've heard it. I helped a girl a few months ago that was getting an opossum. It was you know, the first time she'd been around this animal and she was getting it from a rescue and they said that they had been feeding it seeds. I don't even know how that opossum survived. <laughs> That's just awful, awful diet. That's, I, I can't imagine feeding him anything worse than seeds. So seeds, not a good diet for an opossum. Opossum and possum is the same thing. Now this is completely untrue. Now everyone always wonders why I call him an opossum. They're like, isn't it possum? It's actually really interesting. So those are two different things and most people are actually not aware of this. So if it is from the Americas, North America or South America, my species is actually from South America. Uh, it's an opossum. So everybody here in America is saying like, oh, a possum. It's actually an opossum. It's just most people don't know. But you know, since this is an educational channel, I do try to use the right names. And so it is an opossum. Now possum is actually from Australia. So you probably learned something new today. Myth number five, you should use reptile calcium to supplement the diet. Now this I feel is something that I'm guilty of myself, but now having been a more experienced owner, I would definitely say no, don't substitute their diet with reptile calcium in order to try to give them the calcium that they're missing. Now in one of my um, videos previously where I talked about diet, and it's been quite a while since I've done an opossum video. I mentioned that some people feed them pinky mice, but that I didn't really feel like it was 100% necessary, but fine if you wanted to. I've completely changed my outlook on that. And I think that's a good thing because if I had all these pets and didn't once in a while change my opinion, I think there'd be something wrong with that. But I have changed my opinion about that. And basically I would say now that feeding them a frozen thawed mouse is really, really important to their diet. It is so much better than trying to put calcium in their food. And this is because they're getting the amount of calcium that they need, the amount of calcium that they would receive in the wild. Whereas when you're putting it on their food, maybe you're giving too much, maybe you're not giving enough, maybe they don't really like the powder and they're gonna kinda like eat the stuff that doesn't have it. But with mice, that is such a natural part of their diet and they can break down those bones, they can eat those bones, it's completely safe, it's 100% natural, and they're getting everything that they need from that. So if you do want an opossum as a pet, 
please, please be aware that this is a really important part of their diet. If you are, you know, squeamish, if you don't want to do that part, I would definitely recommend staying away from opossums and moving to a pet that, you know, you're not going to have to feed the frozen mice to. Myth number six, opossums need fruit and veggies daily. Now, this isn't 100% true. I know a lot of people will tell you, oh, try to add all of this to their diet. They need meat mostly. So meat and insects, that's just a huge, huge part of their diet and they get mostly everything that they need from that. Now you can also give them fruits and vegetables. Mine loves cantaloupe. I think he also likes strawberries and grapes. And then for veggies, um, usually blended up veggies he likes uh, as well as like cooked squash, he likes that. <laughs> but it's not necessary to provide all of those things on a daily basis and some people get very stressed out because the opossum won't eat that on a daily basis and they're like, oh what do I do, he's not eating this, it's perfectly fine, he's getting what he needs, it's not natural for them to be getting so many veggies as part of their diet. So don't be stressed out if your opossum is not eating that, it's okay, as long as he's eating his meat and a lot of insects, you're good. Myth number seven, opossums are wild caught. Now this is something I've been accused of like, oh, why did you take that animal out of the wild? They are very rare and it's true, not a lot of people in America have opossums as pets right now, but that doesn't mean that we're exporting them from South America. These opossums are actually raised in captivity. It's not hard to breed opossums, so um, these ones that you're seeing as pets, they're not wild caught. They haven't been wild caught in a very long time. So I know there's not a lot out there, but there are actually a lot of breeders. So uh, don't think that you're getting an opossum from the wild. Myth number eight, opossums should be kept in pairs. Now opossums are solitary creatures. And you know when it comes to animals that are solitary or social, this is one thing I just won't give up on is telling people you know, that's how they need to be. It's really, really important. If your animal is social, they need a friend. If your animal is not social, they do not need a friend. So really, really important thing when keeping opossums is that you cannot have more than one in the same cage, unless of course you are breeding, which I, I don't recommend that. But um, you don't wanna put multiple opossums in the same cage, uh, two brothers, two sisters, no, it's just, they, they don't want a friend. And that's just uh, how it is with that species. These animals are hunters, they compete for food, so they don't want somebody else in their cage that seems like competition. Now obviously you can provide enough food and beds and toys and everything for these guys, but in their instincts, like deep down, they're gonna feel like that other opossum is really invading on their space and possibly uh, taking too much of their food. So they're not gonna be happy. These guys are really, really happy just in a cage by themselves. In fact, these animals are so solitary that they don't even really need a lot of attention from you. Uh, they're very good actually at tolerating attention and being taken out. Some really like it, some are okay with it but they're not actively seeking that the way that some animals do. Myth number nine, opossums can be kept with other animals. Okay, this one, don't do it. Um, I am surprised, just shocked at how often I get asked things like, can I put my hedgehog and my hamster in the same cage to live together? Or uh, can I keep my ferret with my rabbit? I'm just shocked at how many people ask things like this. Um, those are, those, all those examples are a prey animal and a predator animal. So predator is gonna eat the prey animal. So trying to keep an opossum with another animal is not a good idea. I know a lot of people think that they look like rats, but they are not rats. And if you try to mix the two, the opossum would eat the rat. So very, very strict rule here is just keep an opossum to one cage, no other opossums, no other animals. Myth number 10, opossums are mean and bite all the time. That's completely untrue. These are actually really awesome animals to have. The only time I've ever been bitten by my opossum is when I smelled like something else. And that's because he's like, oh hey, food, that's food on your hands, right? Mm -mm, it's lotion and he bit me. So if you do have an opossum, just be careful when handling them. Wash your hands really well. Um, maybe wear a clean shirt if you have other animals. And like I said, don't put lotion on your hands. But as long as like I'm keeping my hands clean and I don't smell like other animals, 
then he's very, very good with me. He's a really sweet animal and I just love having him as a pet. Thanks for watching this video about opossums and I hope it helped you learn about them. If you would like to know more about these animals, please let me know. I have a care video about them and I also have a diet video. But if you have other questions, let me know and maybe I can do a video about it.